Hey there, how's it going? I thought I would uh, <clears throat> draw some hands and talk about hands. Uh, I had one of my subscribers interested in a sketching video. So, hands are one of the most complicated things. I'm not going to go into doing realistic hands. I'm going to do more uh, just cartoon hands. And um, there are two different types of cartoon hands mainly. It's the three finger and the four finger. And actually, the reason the uh, three-fingered hands uh, were introduced early on was, uh, I think Disney, when they were doing a lot of animation, they decided to only use three fingers instead of four, like for Mickey Mouse. Because you figure it's 24 frames a second, 720 frames per minute. Or wait, is it 720 per minute? Something like that. 24 frames a second times 60. Anyway, it's a lot of frames. So if you're making a five minute cartoon, you have to draw that extra finger. So that's, as far as I know, that's kind of how the three fingers got introduced. But, but uh, I use four fingers a lot and sometimes I do realistic stuff on the windows. But basically, I usually just draw around kind of an egg shape to represent the hand. And then, uh, over here, this is this section here, the this part of the palm, and then the thumb goes like that, like so. And and that it doesn't even have to be that detailed either. You know, it can be less than that. But and then you come out here, and you can see how this part is like kind of higher, and it comes down a little. So you want to go sort of like that and then this is this section like so and then depending on what the hands are doing like what position they're in you do the fingers and the the tallest is this middle finger I guess that's the index finger and then it, you can see how it comes down these are almost the same and then the pinky is shorter so I kind of do like almost like a really light S shape like that. Like so. And then the pinky is down here the lowest and the shortest. This is kind of a not a totally cartoony hand but and then if you want to do all these lines, you can you kind of just follow it across. This is a little higher up here. These these breaks. And you can just study your own hand to see where they go. So that gives you kind of an idea of a more of a hand. And then wh whatever you want to do with it, you know, it just depends on uh, if you want to have it like that or pointed, you know, whatever. So let me get another page going here. So that same hand in a more cartoony one would be just like, kind of like this. And then I just go like this and grab it around, grab it around, grab it around. That would be your, your three-fingered hand. And you can have it make it like it's a like it's a glove too. So and if you want to point it, you just build it. Like if you want to have the hand pointing, you take the pointing finger, bring it down, not all the way in yet, because you're gonna take your the thumb here and bring it like that, like that, and like so. And then this is the the next finger comes be behind the thumb, like that. And if you're doing three, you can leave it like that, or if you want to add four, you go like that, and like so. And you've got your cartoon hand. Then again, yeah, you just look at your hand however you want to do it. If you want it say hanging down by the side you can just kind of look at your hand like that 
just hold it like this. <laughs> you always have a model there right for you, right with you. And this comes down like that. Knuckle. Like so. That finger is kind of behind this one. And then fingers in the background. And uh, it's really it. There's not a lot to it. You just you just build it and practice. This is want thin fingers. Kind of more of like a a woman's hand. Maybe holding something like a jar or whatever. And really, it's just about practice. Just drawing and building. Notice how this line goes behind that, and this line goes in front of that one. Here's your knuckles. This might be like a monster hand. Add some hair. <laughs> I do hands holding money a lot, so I just draw a ball and then I kind of draw out the money like so and draw this bottom line. This is the thumb comes down it's a three-fingered hand if you're holding money the other direction if you wanted to show the thumb you do the thumb first and the palm part, and then you do the money, and have the finger come down, come down, come down, and then you can have money coming out the bottom too. Just like the video I just did with the dragon, how to draw a dragon, it's got that knight holding money. But really, the thing about hands is you just got to do it a lot. You got to practice, and you know. And here's a guy. His hands are. clenched together. Actually, that would be on the other side. I think if his hands were up there. I got it backwards. <laughs> I think so. See, if you were like that, this hand, yeah, it would be this side, not that way. Because if this hand came down, the thumb would be on the outside. But when your hand, your thumb, when your hands are down, the thumbs are pointed in. So this one's wrong. Hands are great for showing expression and mood. Really, really is good for that. This guy screaming. It's just a giant head, really. <laughs> anyway, that's really all there is to hands, is you just got to keep trying things, practicing, looking at your own hand. You build up 
you build up uh, ways of doing it. You know, you figure out shortcuts and things that work for you. Well, just some little tips on hands. I hope that helps. And all it is is just practice. You just got to keep practicing. If I was drawing these on a window, I'd be like shaping them out. You see me carving them out and, you know, cutting them off and repainting them and whatever just to get them right. So you don't get it right on the first try. Just keep going. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.